now we're going to move forward to MetaBox's creation. The first thing is that what is MetaBox and what it really can do? It provides specificity, just like if you are familiar with the custom fields, I'm just going to add a custom field in here, just like uh, custom fields, and I'm going to actually save it and get back in here and refresh the page. And as you can see that we have now a custom field out here. It contains a name box and a value and as well as a custom field button. But it is actually not specific. We really want actually the value, not the name. And we are actually enforcing the user to add the name and as well as this button. So this is just going to be actually not specific. But the specific is this value box. And this is what we really do with meta boxes. Metabox actually provides only this value and this box and excluding this name and as well as this button. So that would be more specific like that. So I'm going to get back to my code in here and I'm just going to actually add a meta boxes out here just for specificity. So after the public function to destroy all taxonomies, I'm going to create public function meta boxes in here I'm gonna hook an action that will be actually add underscore meta underscore boxes in here and then would be actually an anonymous function just like that I'm gonna create a built-in function that will be add meta box in here I'm going to provide some parameters like uh, from what kind of name you want to refer to this meta boxes just like uh, we are referring the custom post type with the name of bt underscore game I'm just going to use bt underscore game underscore size or you can just call it game underscore size for more specific city in here and then after that what I have to do is I gonna to have to provide that uh, what is actually the title so I'm going to use game size in MB and after that I'm going to create a function that will be actually game underscore length function okay and uh, after that uh, the last thing is I gotta have to provide uh, this is actually the game length is actually the callback function this is a function which we're going to be actually referring when we are going to create a meta boxes and uh, the next and the last one is actually the name from which we're going to be actually referring to it. The name uh, from which we refer actually the custom post type. So that will be like this one. Now I'm going to actually create this function. Game underscore length out in here. And then I'm just going to actually provide the PHP function inside that PHP function I'm going to create the, the HTML tags I'm going to save it hit enter and then I'm going to create a label for that will be uh, just like uh, game underscore size and that will be like game size that would be actually a label which is going to be actually displayed for the user if you just get back in here it will be actually displayed on the top that what would be the actually game size of it and uh, I'm just going to actually now close the label out in here save it get back I'm just going to close the P statement in here and here I'm going to provide another statement and I'm going to provide uh, the input box that will be actually text and I'm going to provide class white fit for automatic styling of it to match it with WordPress and uh, the next thing I would have to provide the name for it that would be actually the game size name it name is equal to game underscore size in here and uh, ID would be also referring to it game underscore size and well I'm just gonna leave it default for a time being save it now the last thing I gotta have to do is to provide actually in here the post 
that uh, we are actually going to refer to the post out here and I'm just going to call out this function meta boxes inside the constructor so I'm just going to actually call out this function meta boxes in here and then I'm going to get back and refresh the changes and we'll see what happens so I'm going to actually refresh the page and now as you can see that the custom game size in MB title has been added and as well as with a custom specific only one input box as you can see that now you can actually enter the value like 5 45 MB 454 MB or whatever else and this is the custom field so I'm gonna get back and uh, delete the custom field because we really don't want it I'm just gonna save it get back and I'm gonna refresh the page in here and as you can see that now we have that specific custom field with game size I'm gonna get back to my code out here and as you can see that we have done the part in here with the meta boxes this is what the meta boxes can do